How do you write heading in what processor? You write the line, select it, then use the mouse to press a button to convert it into heading. That's a three-step procedure. It involves mouse and keyboard. Therefore, it is not fast at all. Conversely, in Obsidian, just type hash space write heading one. That's it. It turns into heading. It is super fast. You don't need to select anything or use mouse. That means your noting speed will be threefold faster than any conventional word processor. This creates least resistance in your noting workflow. Everything is just typing. Obsidian follows a standard style. Writing formatted text in this style is known as markdown. So in this video, I will teach you 10 markdown techniques for making clean and beautiful notes in Obsidian. Number 9 and 10 are the most important. So let's get started. Type hash, put space, this is heading 1. Type double hash, put space, this is heading 2. So if you are new to Obsidian, you might um, make this mistake that is you type hash and start writing your heading. This is, you are not actually seeing the heading that I am showing in the video. Type hash and after that put space then write your heading. This is heading. Okay. So go on this way. Let me write the heading 3. Triple hash space. This is heading 3. Fourfold hash. This is heading 4. Obsidian supports up to 6 layers of heading. So I think that is good for actually formatting any documents. When I make notes, I try to do that in bulleted format. So I mentioned these techniques multiple times in my video series Build Your Second Brain. So see the link over here if you don't want to miss those techniques. So now let me show you how you can write bullets in Obsidian. First press dash and press space. So dash turns into bullet. First bullet. Then press enter. Second bullet. So that means you have to initialize the first bullet afterwards pressing enter creates the subsequent bullets. So another thing is how to create the nested bullet. So for do that you have to press tab and press tab will actually indent the bullets. Then bullet 1, bullet 2, bullet 3. Then how do you get back to the original bullet position? So you have to press shift tab. You will get back to the original bullet, third bullet. So that means tab will create the nested bullet, shift tab will get back to the original bullet. You just have to remember these things and these things are so organic. You need to practice two or three times, then you will get used to it. At this point, I will show you how to create the numbered list. Press one dot then space. This is list one. Then press enter. That means you have to initialize the first numbered list. This is list two. Press enter. Then if you want to create a nested numbered list, you have to press tab just as before. List one, list two. If you want to get back to the original number list position, you have to press shift tab just as before. So this will actually correct your numbered list. This is list three. Awesome, right? Making few words bold and italic actually useful for skimming through your notes. So the conventional way of making bold is control B shortcut and for italic control I shortcut. So now let me show you the markdown style of making bold and italic. So let me paste the text that I copied before. So I want to make the idea bold. So to do that I have to press star two times and in the star after the word. So this is simple right and the conventional way that I said before is just select the word, press Ctrl B. So the shortcut will actually do the same thing. And for italic, you just have to press one star at the first 
and in the one star and the conventional way of doing the italic is select the verb and press ctrl i the same for most of the stem students writing equation inside note is inevitable just remember if you are used to latex style equation writing you are ahead of most of the new user in obsidian because obsidian supports full latex syntax for writing equation obsidian supports inline equation as well as new line equation so let me show you how to write inline equation so newton second law of motion is press dollar sign f equal m a in dollar sign you see the writing turns into equation and here dollar sign f in dollar sign f is force star dollar sign m in dollar sign m is mass and star dollar sign in dollar sign a is acceleration so this is the inline style equation so now let me show you how to write new line style equation so quadratic equation and for new line style equation you have to press dollar sign two times dollar dollar a x square plus b x plus c and dollar sign two times indeed you see the equation rendered into new line that means it doesn't matter if you write in the same line or new line it will be rendered into new line right so this is very useful so that means it supports all of the latex syntax for writing equation so just check the latex syntax for writing equation in google you will get a lot of material link is very important because we need to preserve our link and url inside our note as a reference right so if you are new in obsidian i would highly suggest you do not over complicate your things just copy and paste your link just as plain text right but if you're a little bit obnoxious what you can do you can follow the markdown style link that is type third bracket and write the alternate text that is my name and after that type first bracket and paste your link so you can see in this way it will turns into a link see that's it it is not difficult easy but i will recommend you follow the first one that is easy so try to keep it simple and easy if you are really serious about making table inside your note so follow this step by step guide so go to setting and go to community plugin turn on community plugin that means i am installing a new plugin and browse the plugin and install advanced table so that is the first one nice and install it enable it okay so get out that's it i have installed the advanced table plugin for obsidian so now type pipe column one another pipe column two another pipe enter wow it, it is rendering into actually table then value one tab value two value three tab value four enter see it turns into a beautiful table easy right so that means you can do anything in obsidian and in markdown and in plain text if you are a student in stem you need to preserve your code snippet with your note right so let me show you how to do that so just type backtick three times and type the name of the programming language so in that case i have copied a c code so i will press c then press enter and press my code wow nice this is nice looking c code inside my node right tag is another powerful feature of obsidian it is very useful for keeping track of common things so i have demonstrated that in my second brain video series how i keep track of all of the questions that i have during reading an article using tag in obsidian writing tag is as usual that we are used to in social media so hash no space question and then why tag is important
Okay, so let me open the graph view side by side. So I have opened the graph view and let me change the setting a little bit and enable tag. So after enabling tag, I see the question in another node inside the graph view and there is no file behind the tag. That means that is the difference between a node and a tag. For a node, there is a file behind it. There is a file second brain behind it. And for question, there is no file behind it. So just remember that. But why tag is important. So let me show you why tag is important. So let me write another node, another tag in second brain. Question, just same tag. Question, why connection is important. And after that, if I press question, I will see all of the question tag inside all of my nodes. So I have two question tag, one is second brain, another one is why formatted te text is important. That means tag is very useful for keeping track of a common things, a common subject, common topic. So I am using tag for actually keeping track of all of the questions I have during reading an article and people use tag for multi multiple purposes. So actually that depends on imagination and use usefulness. Making connection with old note and old idea is very important for learning new concept and new things. Connection is also important for actually linking your notes as well as referencing old notes and articles, right? So I have discussed this topic multiple times in my previous videos as well as first video of this series. So now let me elaborate these things a little bit further so that you can understand how the obsidian making connection with old notes. So let's go. If you just press double bracket, obsidian brings up a search option and this is so dynamic. This search option brings all of the nodes and files inside your obsidian. So when you have a lot of nodes and files, this is inconvenient to actually navigate from here and select your connection, right? So the simplest way to search your node, search second brain. And this will actually narrow down your search. You see now I have only one option. So now I will just press enter or select it using mouse. That means making connection is a very easy and dynamic and natural in Obsidian. Everything you do in conventional word processor, you can do that in Obsidian. In fact, better. You can make multimedia nodes in Obsidian, including link, images, GIF, video, embedding video, as well as embedding PDF, making tables, making equation, inserting code snippet, everything. So that means your node will be more dynamic in Obsidian. So if you are more interested, please check the link below.